Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of V-City. Today we're going to be talking about the University of New Brunswick. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Peter Ojum and I am your host for today. Welcome to another episode right here on V-City and today we're going to be talking about a special university as a matter of fact. This university is the University of New Brunswick. Now it's a public university with two primary campuses in Fredericton and St. John which they're both located in New Brunswick. It is the oldest English language university in Canada and among the oldest public universities in North America. See, it's also known as UNB. So UNB was founded by a group of seven loyalists who left the United States after the American Revolution. Now let's talk about the campuses just a little bit. Uh, there's Fredericton, like I mentioned before. Now UNB Fredericton is located on a hill overlooking the St. John River. The campus is well known for its colorful fall foliage. You know, it has this red brick buildings and very steep hill. It's pretty beautiful. You know, well, think about Canada as a lot of places in Canada are quite beautiful. So that's a that's a that's a plus, you know. So in Fredericton, there's a, there's this beautiful scenery over there and it's a gorgeous place to be at. So basically, UNB has this shared college hill with St. Thomas University and it's not a bad thing at all. It's actually a pretty good thing because some universities do share uh, locations and, and infrastructure with one another even though they remain as separate institutions. Now let's move on to St. John. The UNB St. John campus is located in Tucker Park in Milledgeville neighborhood. So. I'm not too sure how to pronounce that place because it's pronounced as M I L L I D G E Ville. So, Milledgeville. <laughs> anyway, just a fun fact. I wanted to go, I, not I didn't want to, but I was supposed to go to the University of New Brunswick because when I was back in Nigeria, we I, we had we had an agent who we eventually did not use, but she was the one who gave us the interests. To come to Canada. She was the one who was like, oh, don't you know about Canada? You could go to a place called University of New Brunswick. I have the connections for you. I have all this for you, blah, blah, blah. She wanted me to go to a college there and then transfer to the to the university, which was not a bad idea, but we didn't follow it through with her. We didn't really do much with her. So we didn't follow through with her and that was that. I came to Canada by a totally different route. <laughs> anyway, in St. John, the UNB St. John campus is located in Tucker Park which is a Milledgeville neighborhood. It's several kilometers north of the city of the city's central business district and you know it has views of Grand Bay and there's a river that it also has views of so that's great. New Brunswick's largest healthcare facility which is St. John's Regional Hospital is pretty it's like really really close to UNB here to UNB St. John, right? And there's a medical school that operates as a partnership between the government of New Brunswick and the university as well, and Dalhousie's Faculty of Medicine. So St. John has gone through a lot of expansion over the years. It's still growing, and there's new buildings that are being constructed over and over again. So there's been a growth of a number of international students located in St. John. Let's move on to the reputation of this university. In 2014, the University of New Brunswick was awarded the most entrepreneurial university in Canada by Startup Canada. The university has supported the launching of 23 new startup companies. That was back in 2015. And in 2019, the McLean's magazine ranked the University of New Brunswick 8th out of 15 universities placed in the publications in a comprehensive category. So they come 8 out of 15, which is really, really good. In 2019, McLean's magazine ranked UNB 8th out of 15 universities. So this was 8th in the category of public comprehensive universities. So for several years running, UNB's libraries has been ranked the top spot for national in terms of percentage of overall budget that's developed that has been devoted to the libraries. So in 2012, UNB's law school was ranked second nationally. Okay, that is great. But this was by McLean's as well. So if you're looking for a law school, this is one of the schools you can definitely go to. The school has a lot of other awards and accolades that we can discuss. So the school has a lot of accolades and awards that we can discuss on and on and on, but I don't want to I just I don't want to stay on that because yes, we do know this is a prestigious university. 
Majority of students do not live within walking distance of the campus of St. John because of its remote location. Unlike in Vedrickton, St. John is predominantly a commuter campus, so a lot of people have to like bus in or drive in or bike in, etc. But UNB in general has approximately 10,000 students from over 100 countries, and they do have small class sizes and low student to professor ratio, which means that the professors can get to know the students by name right and the students do have over 125 clubs and societies to choose from in Fredericton and St. John combined. There's, uh, there's, there's a lot of residences available to students in Fredericton and there's two in St. John so students on both campuses have access to pretty much all of, uni of, the, University of, Saint, of the University of New Brunswick's facilities and they have fitness classes, outdoor activities such as snowshoeing and kayaking. There are exchanges available in more than 35 countries around the world with over 89 university partners with UNB. The University of New Brunswick offers an engaging education within a community that champions, challenges, and supports its children and its students in order to create their own future. So, the professors at UNB are leaders in their fields, developing technologies used by NASA and Google. They are pioneer pioneering research in plant-based medicines and leading Canada's Institute for Cybersecurity. So what I'm trying to say here is that UNB offers more than 80 undergraduate and graduate programs. Fredericton, like I mentioned earlier, is home to the original campus and has more programs including arts, business, business administration, computer science, education, engineering, kinesiology, nursing, science, and law. St. John offers arts, business, science, engineering, and medical program. The campus in Fredericton sits on a steep hill that overlooks the St. John River, while the St. John campus has a view of the of another river called Kinabasasis or Kinabacasis. I'm probably butchering the name, but you guys let me know. So the university has a strong focus on research. Just know that they also have a planetary and space science center, which is Canada's only NASA designated regional planetary image facility. So basically the public can come over and view some mission documents and, and cartographical information. So basically Fredericton, Fredericton campus is the main one and there is a smaller campus, which is in St. John. There's a whole lot of accommodation, apartments that are within a half hour work, walk, but cost as much as, or as little as $560 a month, heat and light included, you know, for like a bachelor sized apartment and in a decent building, etc. Uh, most of those apartments are owned by like a relatively small group of owners, so it's pretty easy to track down a place to live. A lot of apartments are posted on Kijiji, which is pretty convenient. One thing people notice is that the internet isn't great for some reason. <laughs> like there are only two non-cellular providers in the city. Bell Alliance, which is, has its unlimited bandwidth, but the speeds vary. New Brunswick has about 30 degrees in the summer and falls down to negative 25 degrees Celsius in the winter. It's also very humid and UNB gets a whole lot of foreign students, especially from East Asia and the Middle East. And they do get people from Africa every now and then. They're often unprepared for the range of temperatures, so you got to be prepared because it snows a whole lot and it takes a while to get rid of it. So sneakers alone wouldn't cut it unless you live on campus. So buses come about every hour and sometimes half an hour in some high traffic routes at peak times. But um, bus rides are about two dollars and a student pass is available for like 42 to 50 dollars a month. There's a supermarket 10 or 5 minutes away from campus and there's some specialty markets in the same area. So, you know, you can go on Saturday mornings to the farmer's market if you want some food. And it's pretty, pretty easy for you to get food to cook for yourself. Meals are at most mid-scale restaurants and they range, range from about $10 for a basic meal to $20 for a steak or ribs. So there's a beautiful scenery, like I mentioned before, at least in the winter. And if you're not into outdoors and if you're not into outdoor sports, then I'm sorry because there's a whole lot of outdoor sports here that you should get used to, like camping, cross country, skiing, snowshoeing, etc., etc. And you don't have to look far to find a good spot. The best areas really depend on a person, right? But anywhere in the province is pretty much safe and friendly, in my opinion. So you just gotta work and stay near, you know, Fredericton, St. John, or Moncton. <laughs> you know, and just be do your own due diligence and be safe. Fredericton has a growing IT sector and the cold can be manageable if you dress properly with a ther with like thermal based layers and you'll take time and you'll get you'll adapt pretty quickly as well. So Fredericton is a university town and it's pretty friendly, mostly for mid 20s people. There is not much to do in way of like things like Toronto or Calgary, 
but there's enough that can keep you occupied so you wouldn't have problems meeting people and it's it's a good place to chill in us of course the thing is that a lot of people leave like during the summer because mostly is a whole lot of students in fredericton but if you want to know anything else feel free to ask us because we're here to help you and if you like this video if you found this video informative please give us a like please give us a like please subscribe to this channel because we are here to provide you the best information there is on the internet we are here to give you personalized information feel free to contact us via instagram at projectile underscore md or via email you can email me at peter at projectilestream.com you could also support us on patreon because through your support we get to grow and we get to make better videos for everybody so i hope you enjoyed this episode i hope you learned a lot and we will see you next time have a wonderful day. You're amazing.